We've got three hurricanes in the Atlantic. Uh, there's Florence, Isaac, and Helene, and these are all generally moving to the west. We tracked Isaac, Helene. They looks like they're going to stay away from land, but Florence, that one's going to be a different story. And so here's the latest on the satellite. These red areas represent tall thunderstorms, and they're wrapping into the center. It's a sign of a strong hurricane, a strengthening hurricane, and the eye is present uh, at times. It looks like it tries to fill in a little bit, but there it is, and so the eye is becoming very sharp, sign of a strong hurricane as well. So uh, it looks healthy, unfortunately, on the satellite. Winds of 105 miles an hour, and the next update that comes out probably at 11 a.m. they'll upgrade it, but uh, sometimes at 8 a.m., which comes out here any moment, uh, they uh, they update the strength. But I think right now it's just a Category Two. Now it is forecast to become a Category Three, Category Four, and then as we get into Thursday, it could make landfall as a Category Four hurricane somewhere along the southeast coast. The most likely path right now is towards Wilmington, but the possible path runs up into Hatteras and goes all the way down to Central uh, North Carolina along the. South Carolina along the coast, and then it moves inland, weakens some, but it might take some time to do that. It might slow down and grind in here for a long time. Now, even though, you know, some folks are looking at this line and say, oh, I think we're going to be safe. You have to look at the computer models. They tell a bit of a different story. Now, there is some wiggle room in here. It could go a little bit more closer to our area and uh, even closer to Hatteras. There's some models which run it up right into this location and they have it lingering for a couple of days. So, but the, the good news is at least we're starting to get a good idea where it wants to go. It looks like they're honing in on coastal North Carolina. Now these are two important models we use. They're powerful models. The GFS in pink purple, the European in white. Let's follow along. This is 6 p.m. and there's the centers of the hurricane according to the models anyway. They're a little bit different, a little bit split. Well, the European sends it closer to the state line between South and North Carolina, which would be a good scenario for us. But the GFS, no, this would be a little closer to the Hatteras area. And you see these lines, how they're all together. Those are pressure lines. The winds would be very strong on the Outer Banks and also on Hampton Roads if this were to verify. And watch what happens beyond it. This is Friday. The European model, it's inland. We wouldn't have that. That much of a situation here, but the GFS, if this were to linger like it, it's showing for days, well, we'd have a lot more problems. We'd have flooding, we'd have uh, strong winds. So let's outline this. You know, the kind of two different solutions here. Here, pardon me, the GFS and the Canadian model winds of over 50 miles an hour in Hampton Roads, winds over 60 miles an hour in North Carolina, and this is just general stuff right now. Severe flooding, maybe major flooding, and uh, lots of rain and flooding also. This is tidal flooding we're talking about. So that's with the American and the Canadian model. The European one, though, remember, it's been steady for a while. It's shown more of a westerly track for a long time. Not as much wind expected. Some tidal flooding wouldn't be as bad. We'd have some probably down towards Hatteras, but maybe not so much in Hampton Roads, and most rain would be farther inland. So uh, what will probably happen is something in between those two models, and in the next 24 hours, we'll really, I think, be able to detail what that's going to be. All right, or even in the next 12 hours, probably. So what to do now? Watch for those updates throughout the next 12 to 24 hours. Plan for the week. You know, the weather will probably deteriorate later this week. Either way, it just, again, depends on which scenario is going to happen. Update your emergency kits in case that GFS model does happen. The American model, if it does get closer, just in case. And prepare for possible flooding. We've had a lot of rain recently, and we could see some more later this week to compound the problem. Speaking of, eastern shore, it's a mess up here. You've had a lot of rain for a long time. Some of it's trying to move back to the west a little. We had a lot of rain overnight, flooding along Highway 13 in parts of Accomack and Northampton County. Be careful out there if you're on the eastern shore. Uh, Middle Peninsula, Peninsula, we had heavy rain yesterday. That's gone now. Quiet for the south side. Virginia Beach looking okay. And a few showers down across the southern outer banks. It, it's some pockets of heavy rain coming back here towards Rodanthe. Now, Future Track has a few showers as we go through the day. Probably a break around midday in Hampton Roads, uh, but a few more showers coming up from the south towards the afternoon. And they start working north. 40% chance of rain today. Overnight, some spotty showers possible. And then tomorrow, quiet in the morning. We get into the afternoon, and we'll see a few scattered showers, but I think even less rain tomorrow. 30% chance for a few showers. Uh, maybe I can get it down to a slight chance. We'll see. Now, temperatures today, mid to upper 80s for most. It's going to be humid, muggy. You got winds out of the south, 5 to 10 miles an hour, mix of sun and clouds, few scattered showers, a couple pockets of heavy rain possible. On top of that, we got some minor tidal flooding in the region. Sewell's Point, 5.2 feet. That is some minor tidal flooding at 10:15 this morning, and then some nuisance tidal flooding should follow after that point. That's from the natural tide being up and a little bit of swell from Florence already. Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, we got lesser rain chances and then higher chances possibly Thursday, Friday, depending on Florence.